You know, uh, I guess what I would tell you is, uh, you know, you're pulling for your country. Last night, Willie and I were betting there. It was great. And then last night, lots of guys, you're pulling for your country. You're part of the program. The program helped you along the way. Uh, I've been involved in the Hockey Canada program forever. I'm proud of that, proud to be Canadian. And, you know, it was a thrill to have that opportunity 20 years ago. And I'm thrilled for the guys having the chance here tonight. Yeah, uh, it's going to be fun to watch. I mean, uh, a lot of a lot of good friends on that team, a lot of guys I played with. So uh, last night I was uh, pretty, pretty nerve-wracking watching that, but uh, really happy for them. So I'll be pulling for them tonight. Got a bet going there with Coach over the outcome? Yeah, I got a bet with him. Uh, I mean, it's a lose-lose for me either way because if, if they – Canada loses, he'll just make an excuse that if he was coaching that, you know, there's no way they would lose or anything. So, uh, but yeah, I got a good bet with Barnes as well. So, uh, yeah, I got a couple good Americans on the team that are, uh, are with me there. So it'll be fun to watch. Yeah, obviously I know a lot of the guys in Canada or all of them. So pretty good friends with them, you know, talking to them. And, um, you know, obviously on USA, I know Parsi pretty well. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be fun to see him compare himself tonight. You know, he always shows up at the big games as he did in the Mem Cup, you know, playoffs and everything like that. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's going to be fun to watch him tonight. Would there be shutting up Bracco if the U.S. was able to win? Will you hear from him? Do you think? Ah, uh, uh, you won't stop hearing from him. I bet. You know, when he's next time I see him down here, he probably won't stop talking to me about how they beat Canada. So that uh, that needs to not happen tonight. And um, you know, I think Team Canada is going to come and you know, obviously after what happened last time to them, uh, they're ready to play. I think. I'd have to say USA, they looked uh, better in the preliminary rounds, but you know, you never know when it comes down to the final game. And to win an opportunity in Canada, you've got some experience in that regard. What was it like? Yeah, it was nice. We actually beat Nas. Uh, he, I, you know, they had a really good team, a lot of good guys, but... You won it? Um, yeah. You won it that year? Yeah. 2010 more. Talks about it this time of year, so... <laughs> he, Nas doesn't mention it much either. I don't know why. It's weird. I think the goal is always for Canada to win the goal and all the pressure. Like you said, it's in Canada too, it's in uh, Montreal, so uh, it's just a lot of pressure. I think the guys are going to go there and enjoy it. And uh, I think when the emotion for us, what happened is uh, we, we got so high in emotion and the Russians started getting back and you started panicking. But you got to stay stay cool under pressure. But I guess it's, uh, it's going to be a geek, big game against the U.S. too. It's going to be... Uh, Fun to watch, I guess. With all due respect, you don't have the greatest singing voice, Fred. Uh, what was it like to get a chance to sing the anthem when you guys won gold? Oh, it's always nice. I think it's one of the best moments. I think when you're all at the blue line singing uh, the national anthem, and uh, it's great. I was still singing, even though uh, no, that doesn't have the great, greatest voice. But no, some little French in there too. So no, it was great. It was a uh, great memory.